In this video, we're going to take a look at a few ways of using global edit in Adobe Illustrator. And here I am in Illustrator 2020. Now global edit can find all of the copies of an object or group in your document. So for example, I'm going to click on this little yellow leaf here, and I can find every other object that's this same shape in my document by going down on the properties panel to the bottom here where we can see the start global edit button and there are options here in this menu. But I'm gonna close the properties panel and show you another button. This one's located on the top control bar. And if I click this, we can see Illustrator selects every other yellow leaf throughout my artwork. And now with everything selected, I'm just gonna go up to the top control bar and choose another color swatch here. And then when I deselect, you'll see all of those leaves change from yellow to green. And Global Edit also works on groups like this flower here. So with this flower selected, I'll go up to the top control bar. And again, this is the Global Edit button. Now it's not called Global Edit in its tool tip here, but you can see sort of a little pencil in this icon here just to differentiate it from this button here that allows you to select similar objects by their appearance attributes, color, and that sort of thing. So if I click on this button, the Global Edit button here, now I have every one of those groups selected throughout my artwork. And that's regardless of their color or appearance or size or any of that. So anything that's a copy in your file, whether it's a group or an individual path, Global Edit can find it for you. Now let's go to the options menu next to the button here. And we can see Illustrator telling us that it's found five identical objects there and I'm not matching them by either appearance or size. And that's why I've got multiple colors and sizes here. But if I check appearance, we'll see now I'm only matching appearance. And so that removes these two blue flowers from my selection. And again, if I check size, same thing, it's gonna remove these two flowers from my selection. And then I only have this other flower that is identical in size to my selection. But I'll go ahead and uncheck both of these check boxes to get all of these flowers in my selection. And then I have other options here. I can narrow my selection or increase my selection by choosing which artboards and also including objects on the canvas outside my artboards. Now that I have all these flowers selected, I can make all sorts of edits. So here I can go into the scale tool, double click it, and then change the scaling to 110% and then click OK. And this increases the size of every flower by 110%. Now to edit inside of a group, normally you would get your white arrow and try to select things inside the group. But sometimes that can be a little difficult when you're dealing with an object like this that has many objects inside of this group and even nested groups. So for a situation like this, I prefer to use isolation mode. And we can go right up to the control bar and click on this button here to enter isolation mode. Now I'm able to go in and make all sorts of edits here. I'm gonna go ahead and just click the center circle, open up my color panel and just choose another color swatch here, just making a really simple edit here, but there's a lot that you can do inside of isolation mode. Now to get out of isolation mode, I can just click on this left facing arrow here just to back out and we can see all of the flowers have been updated to have that red center. Now it's important to note that when you're looking for copies of an object in Illustrator, your copies must be proportionately scaled. So if they're different sizes, that's fine. But if they've been stretched or squeezed, Illustrator's not going to recognize those copies. So for example, we have this sort of fruit right here. And if I click on the global edit button, I've got this one down here as part of my selection. But these two over here are not being taken in. Even though they're copies, I happen to scale these disproportionately, they're kind of narrower. And so Illustrator doesn't recognize these as copies. So disproportionate scaling is a problem, but rotation is not. So I'm gonna select this little group of berries here, click on the global edit button, and you can see I get all of these berries in my selection, even though some of them are at different rotations. So using global edit in Adobe Illustrator allows you to find all the copies of objects in your document and update them across your artwork.